everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a brand new fragrance from Yves Saint Laurent to review. It is their new Libre Le Parfum. So I'm gonna be letting you know what this smells like, how it differs to the original, as well as the other versions of Libre. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. We are all about perfumes. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos just like this going through new releases. I have videos on all the other Libres, on the other YSL sell perfumes and on my blog I have detailed articles that go through whole perfume ranges like Libre as well so do check them out and if you're a regular viewer make sure that you are subscribed and most people that watch my videos are not subscribed and um, so do subscribe it really helps me and give the video a thumbs up if it's helpful and down below in the description box I'll link to where you can get this new Libre Le Parfum as well as the others in the range across UK Europe North America Australia where they're available. The other three will be Le Parfum. Um, I think it's only just coming out in some countries. Cool, so the original Libre Eau de Parfum is um, a bestseller. We've got Dua Lipa as the face of the fragrance. I think it's a very cool perfume, very trendy. And um, what does it smell like? So it's a vanilla and lavender. So it's a relatively calming scent. Um, it's quite good for lasting and there's something about it where people that wear Libre like really love it and keep repurchasing it and it's been a very successful launch. Right after they um, released this, like maybe a year later, they released an intense version of the original, which I found to be very similar to the original. It just had a bit more of a warm tonka bean in, it was a little bit heavier, but it was quite similar. And then last year they released Libre Eau de Toilette, which came in a thin, tall bottle. The liquid was more orangey. That's my personal favorite because it's orange blossom and orange. Um, I love orange blossom. I'm a sucker for orange blossom, so I love that. But it was definitely a different scent to the original, which does have orange blossom in, but some of the other notes take over and the orange blossom isn't overly prominent like it is in the Eau de Toilette. So I was curious now when this fourth version came out, Le Parfum. So this is a stronger version than the Eau de Parfum, than the Eau de Parfum Intense. Um, it's more concentrated. It has this dark liquid color as well, indicating how concentrated it is. So when I first sprayed it, I've got one on each wrist, the original perfume and the Le Parfum. Um, at first it did smell very similar to original um, Libre. I didn't find it that different. As it's developed, some other notes have started coming through. So I definitely get the Libre DNA of the lavender and the vanilla, the white florals, but this has some additional notes in it. So I definitely got some ginger when it was first sprayed and saffron, which works really well with ginger to add a slightly spiciness, wintry, autumnal feel to the fragrance. I also get a little bit of vetiver coming through more so than in the others, um, which is slightly herbal green, slightly spicy note. And I also get tonka bean like in the intense version. Um, now what I found is that as it settled, if I compare them, the original Libre, I'm getting vanilla and I'm getting white florals. Whereas in Le Parfum, what I'm getting is that saffron, that ginger, white florals, and a warm undertone, but not really any sweetness of the vanilla that I get in the original Eau de Parfum. And I definitely get aromatic notes of that vetiver and the lavender. So it does settle quite different, and um, though at first it felt quite similar, but it's not completely different fragrance. I think if you like this or the intense version, you'll like Le Parfum. And I think it would be a nice like change. Now that we're coming into autumn and winter here in the Northern Hemisphere, 
perhaps it would be nice to mix this with your original Libre um, or to just wear this and then when it runs out in the spring you could have the Eau de Toilette or go back to the original. So I do think that it fits nicely into this like set of four that they have going on and I do think it will be popular. I think if you found Libre not strong enough um, or if you like your saffron fragrances this is definitely one to try. Um, saffron is usually in quite expensive fragrances fragrances as well. I think it's the most expensive ingredient on the planet, more expensive than gold. So it does tend to be in quite pricey niche fragrances, whereas here we've got it in a designer fragrance, which you can get for a relatively accessible price. This is a 30 mil and it cost me about 60 pounds. So it's not cheap, uh, but it's not super expensive like some niche fragrances are. Um, and definitely the lasting power and projection in this is good. It's definitely a strong fragrance. So you do get value for money in that sense. So it's definitely a Soki approved fragrance, definitely autumn winter would work um, in the evenings and I think during the day probably okay for work or going shopping um, though perhaps you know save it for the evenings just because it's a little bit more expensive than original Libre and it's a little bit more like serious so depending on the occasion I guess but it's not too intense or too spicy or anything that it would only be appropriate in the evening. So um, it's still quite universal. So yeah guys, let me know what you think, which is your favorite out of the four different versions of Libre. Let me know in the comments. And like I said, I do have a detailed article that goes through all four versions as well. Um, but that's it guys. So thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.